Polyethene, usually called polythene, is an important thermoplastic material. The low density form is used for a variety of purposes, including food and carrier bags. High density polythene is used for bottles, buckets, and pipes. Some of the ethene gas, which is the raw material for polythene, is produced from the North Sea gas fields. Ethene gas is then piped to the BP plant at Wilton, which produces 100,000 tonnes of low-density polythene per year, one-third of the UK requirement. BP's Wilton plant is close to the port at Middlesbrough and to road networks north and south. Ethene is taken into the plant and compressed. The gas is cooled and then passed to a reaction vessel where an initiator starts the polymerization to form polythene. Unreacted ethene is separated and recycled to the compressor. The polymer is extruded and cut into pellets. On the BP Wilton site, ethene enters the plant by pipeline and some is stored in this tank. The compressors are here and these are the coolers. Polymerization takes place in this building. The polymer is dried in this tower and stored here. Most of the ethene is produced in this cracking plant from naphtha and is carried by pipeline only a short distance to the polythene plant on the same site. Occasionally, ethene from the Grangemouth pipeline is used. Some ethene is stored in a stock tank to even out pressure fluctuations. The ethene is compressed to a pressure of 1500 atmospheres in two stages by these compressors. Compressing a gas heats it up, so the compressed ethene has to be cooled. Next to the compressors are rows of pipes in which the hot gas is cooled. Hot gas flows through the centre of the pipe. Cooling water flows in the opposite direction in the outer pipe. The compressed and cooled ethene in the red pipes is now a dense gas, almost like a liquid. Pumps add catalysts, called initiators, to the gas stream as it enters the reaction vessel. The gas sniffing device is used to detect any leaks in the system. Ethene air mixtures are flammable. At 160 degrees Celsius and 1500 atmospheres pressure, Polymerization takes place in this vessel. Ethene gas is fed in at the top of the reaction vessel. Initiators are added. About 20% of the ethene is converted to polyethene of chain length about 5,000 ethene units. The mixture of polyethene and unreacted ethene is passed into the first of two separation vessels where unreacted ethene is removed and recycled. At this stage, additives such as antioxidants and stabilizers are added. The molten polythene is extruded into strings which are cut into pellets and cooled by water. The pellets are carried into a decanter where most of the water is removed. They then pass into drying towers where, after being screened for size, water and any remaining ethene is removed using a stream of air. Samples of the polythene pellets are warmed and made into a polythene film to check the quality of the product. Pellets are stored to be packed in sacks. Bulk 
quantities of polythene are carried by road tanker for transport to other companies, where they'll be remelted and processed into finished products.